back. Let's get you some sports news now. Last night, Team India was out in full force to support Captain Courageous as MS Dhoni's World Cup winning bat went on auction. Sachin, BVS Lakshman, Yuvraj, Gambhir and Harbhajan along with the rest of the team were all present at the auction in London. Clearly, Bhaji's presence dismissing all doubts of any friction with Dhoni. But now that the bat that Dhoni hit a six with to win the World Cup final went for a whopping 72 lakh rupees to an investment group from India, that's RK Go Global, this was all in a bid to raise funds for his wife's charitable organization, the Sakshi Foundation that works for the underprivileged children here in India. Meanwhile, according to the latest newspaper reports, UB Group Chairman Vijay Malia said the liquor major is not looking to pull the controversial advertising campaign off air. Malia added that his lawyers would recommend the next course of action but added that the advertisement was meant not to attack Harbhajan Singh but said that it was just a spoof between two brands and that there were several television programs that spoofed our politicians. So what really will happen if all of them started sending legal notices then? Now, if you've been one of those who've thought Chennai continues to be caught between the rural and the urban lines, well, the latest census data might make you want to change your mind. The provisional population tables are out and according to which the urbanization in the city of Chennai stands at 100%. While the growth in rural population has been largely flat, representing a mere 6.6% jump in population, the urban population has swelled by nearly 27% from 2.75 crores to 3.49 crores, with a total population at just over 4 million in the city. In fact, it contributes uh, to 9.3% of the total urban population of India. And finally, Tamil cinema is also beginning to have much more faith in multi-star cast, it seems. On the cards is a Jeeva and Jairam Ravi movie, which is uh, to be directed by S.P. Jananathan. Our entertainment reporter Lalit Jude brings you more on the 3J factor. <laughs> Filmmaker S.P. Jananathan may be soft-spoken, but his films are hardly the candy floss kind. And the national award-winning director is now opting for a new combination, both in script and cast. Sir, Jaim Ravi Jeeva was in a Chamari and over a subject and a idea. Sir, you were a kid to pop up in the mother, Renda Perme, Jeeva, one said Jaim Ravi, what any other Sandoshma or Tanga. I'll look over a pesi tang or net. I am sent upon one. A lot of chemistry comes in so long. Marivan there, Yakunako here of Nadiga and Nadiga and Larakaman or understanding a lava or mother, product and lava. Cast up person of a Korean. What does Jeeva, who swept the audience with his natural performance as a photojournalist in Co, have to say about this combo meal? We've been all uh, like uh, friends for, la for the last uh, almost seven to eight years. If working with Ravi, I, I don't think so we would have any... Uh, you know, ego clashes or something. So very friendly, and he's a very hard, uh, uh, a very light-hearted uh, friend. We know Jananathan touches on socially relevant issues. Will his upcoming film touch upon politics as well, or will it be about two heroes, one good and the other bad? Yeah, script to Jananathan to pound, I don't care. And the hero, which is a business pound, I don't care. The guy, the one that Yarka compromise, so since that you go to tap on his ego, now you go. Jiva the Punch and Jammer, because Jammer the Punch and Jiva go. I've been over a Yanaman Gilla. I'm going to get a perimeter. I'm going to have to put the kettle. Can real life friends be best buddies on screen as it happens in Bollywood? That's the question. In Chennai, with reporter Lalit Jude, Kuku Alex for NDTV Hindu. Well, best friends forever, I guess. That's all we could pack into this edition of Headlines Now. Thanks for being with us. Our news in Tamil follow.